yeah, today I'm gonna talk about made to order Rogue. Um, so maybe just a quick introduction of myself if you don't know who I am. Uh, my name is Yahweh, as spells uh, Y A W E I, and I am the Coach Career Craftsman at uh, Coach Vancouver on Barrage Street. So we are a flagship store. So we get to feature a lot of the unique ready-to-wear pieces and also uh, we are one of the first stores that piloted the Coach Create program. Um, so we do from, the first platform was Heroes and then we introduced souvenir pins and then uh, we also offered a pair of rivets and whip stitch at one point. Um, last year or the year before we had the coach original which you see the patches and all that so we had that as well uh, and then some of the more unique services are the c-lock uh, customization for tabby 26 and then of course the made to order program so right now for made to order program there is uh, for the broke uh, that's the only handbag silhouette that's uh, available to to do made to order. Um, also the for the sneaker for footwear, uh, the sneaker City Soul Court. Uh, you're also able to customize those or made to order those as well. So you can create different. Uh, you get to create a lot of different um, color combination and with like different prints and signature designs. So that's kind of fun as well. Uh, for the City Soul customization or the made to order uh, is the York. Yorkdale store in Toronto that offers it. Our store, we offer the Rogue uh, made to order. But for those of you who just joined us, uh, I just did a quick intro of myself and the Coach Career program we offer in the store. So maybe we can just get into today's uh, content. So we're going to talk about made to order Rogue. So I know some of you are actually, uh, you live in the States. Maybe I'll quickly mention the uh, North American doors that offer this service. So there's only one in Canada, which is in Vancouver. In the States, you have two stores in New York, uh, the Coach House and the Soho location that offers it. Uh, on the West Coast, uh, you have in Southern California, which is the South Coast Plaza, uh, they offer it, and then you, there's one in Chicago, the 625 Michigan location, and in uh, Texas, there is the North Park uh, location. And of course, I think online, I don't, this morning when I checked, there is not the app available on the Canadian website, but you can have access to the app on the U.S. website. So if you are living in the U.S., you can also create uh, your rope online and then they will ship it out to you but uh, if you live in California just to note that they will not be able to ship you the exotic uh, material ones so that's just um, I think that's the state law so that's just a quick kind of who offers what um, yeah so that's maybe get into it um, so with the a made to order rogue that is not something we can actually uh, many like uh, produce in the store but what the craftsman can do uh, to help you is to kind of figure out the design layout that you you want because there are a lot of options so maybe we'll start with the size available availability so with made to order rogue you can first choose the size that you would like so we have I have here this is the smallest size this is a uh, rogue 25 uh, which is one of the most popular sizes in the collections because uh, it's like a very nice compact not compact but like a nice size handbag um, so this is a 25 on the website it also gives you the dimension of each size so you can get a better sense of what you can um, how big the bag is and what you can put in there so basically when we say 25 it measure is 25 centimeters this way uh, so this is the 25, it's the smallest options. Um, and then we have the, the regular size is the 30, but we don't say 30, we just say rope. So when we say rope, it's the one size up, that's the rope, uh, 30. Uh, for this uh, offering, you can also made to order uh, 36. I 
think this is the 36 here. This might be the 30. Let me just take a look. But this is 36. Yeah. So this is the 36. The 36, I don't think is available as a collection piece anymore. It's a harder to find. For all the other sizes, you might be able to still find them and uh, just, they might still be available. Like we just relaunched the 25 as part of our spring collection. But the 36 is uh, more rare. But a lot of people actually are quite interested in this size, okay? So actually, this is like a size comparison, just slightly wider than the 30, okay? And slightly taller. Uh, the tw from 25 to 30 is a bigger jump. And then of course, um, it's also you can uh, made to order a rogue brief. So a rogue brief is, uh, I don't have an example here next to me. Uh, but it's a good, nice, uh, more professional use bag option that you can uh, uh, customize. Um, so those are the four sizes uh, for your options. So first you need to figure out what size you are interested in. And then uh, after you have picked the size, then you can start thinking about what leather finish uh, you're interested in. I think the most commonly seen rogue or the pebble leather finish. So I have some kind of, we have these in the store where customer can uh, take a look and also feel it to get a better sense of what the bag might uh, look like and feel like. So we have, let me just count how many color, maybe I'll turn the camera around so you can see all the color options. Okay. So I think we have eight, 12 color options. As you can see, some of the options are like the black, the saddle color. These are very commonly seen. Oxblood, uh, heather gray. And uh, got another camera here, so I just wanna make sure it's covered. Um, but some of the more interesting colors, I would say is the, this one, the ginger. So the ginger is really, if you put it next to the saddle, it's a more orange option. It's a very vibrant color, which I really like. Some of the color that are kind of specific to made to order rogue, like when people see it, they know right away it's a made to order rather than a collection rogue. Or these color, like the ginger color, uh, the rouge color, it's like a very kind of nice, pinkish or peachy color. Um, we also have this really nice red. So usually if a customer who's interested in making a, a rogue, I will always start with these kind of unique color first. Um, but then of course it's really down to your personal preference. Um, if you're just not these color, person if you just prefer black that's also a very good choice but um, I usually will recommend some of these colors um, okay. so we have here on these uh, leather swatches you can also see the edge stain so um, not just the main like the body color but you can also uh, see what the edge stain is like because that can also determine what color combination you would like. Okay, so these are the pepple leather and the glove tan uh, swatches, okay? Um, we do also have suede. Suede is also another uh, options, leather finish options that you can choose. Um, that I think a lot of people like suede. And, um, and that's also, you don't see that many options in the collection rogue for suede. So you, uh, that's something also another uh, reason why people are looking to uh, made to order rogue for creating a suede finish uh, rogue. So I have kind of separate them. The only uh, sample we have for the suede is in the larger size. But I personally think 
choosing it in the smaller size rogue will be also really nice in this size the rogue 25 especially we had a customer who did a heather gray sway in the 25 and it looks really really nice um, i'm gonna show you what the sway so if you choose sway your lining on the inside will be glove pen so uh, this is something if you prefer something more classic and minimalistic not so much contrast in color uh, you can also consider using suede as your body color and then uh, you'll have like a matching lining inside uh, for glove tan and pebble leather your lining you can choose from a different color of suede lining so these are the uh, suede lining we have available so as you can see you only have six different options and three of them are really close in uh, color choices you have the honey the saddle and the ginger and or you can choose red ox blood or the black the black this is actually more like navy like an indigo color okay so if you prefer your lining and your body like the outer layer closer in color you can consider doing the suede options uh, on your your body now let's talk about a little bit on the construction or the the bag detail so as for now the made to order rogue uh, silhouette is still based on the original rogue options so you will see it will come with the key hood which has been removed from the the latest uh, rogue um, it will not have the crossbody strap and it will not have the added uh, card pocket or the media pocket which is also uh, newly added on the spring collection robes so those are the difference um, I know a lot of you are a big fan of this key hood so that's also something you can consider getting the made to order robe just for this um, anything else now so we talk about different leather finishes um maybe we'll get into okay another option that you can choose uh is the hardware so it come you have three options you have the typically the black copper uh you have the the silver uh antique nickel and then you also have the brass. The brass is a little bit polished, uh, polished brass, okay. okay. So these you can choose. Um, for example, I know a lot of people who is prefer one over than the other. So on your collection rogue, it's mostly just uh, either black copper. I think for the spring collection, you see more brass. But before the previous generation, you see more black copper. Uh, there is very little uh, silver finish hardware. So that's also another reason why you can consider doing uh, made to order rogue that you can actually choose your hardware color. So for me personally, I'm more a uh, brass uh, finished person. So um, anything that I choose from or depending on the color of leather that I choose, either brass or maybe the silver and thick nickel okay and these two choices to be honest um, the color it's more scratch resistant i would say compared to the black copper um, sometimes i do find that if you uh, it, this wear and tear more easily compared to the other two options so but for look if you prefer like a overall like a black or a more monochromatic look you can definitely go with the black copper as well um, wear and tear will just kind of be part of the uh, character of the bag okay okay so so once you have kind of those components in mind now I think the longest time you might spend on deciding on your uh, bag would be the color combination so let's maybe try to do a couple so mainly I think you can think in three different um, color scheme 
uh, directions. So either go with monochromatic, so everything is just very kind of simple. For example, the, uh, the Heather Gray Sway customer that I was talking about, he want the whole thing just gray. And then even the, uh, I can't remember if he choose the black copper or the silver, but the whole bag is just gray. Uh, the very subtle finishes uh, or the, diff the contrast is just on the different texture and leather finishes. So I'm just going to use what we have here and kind of give you an idea of what that might look like. Okay. So his bag mostly, it looks like this. Okay, so these are also kind of little props that we can use in a store to kind of show you what uh, the bag might look like, okay? So the main body will be in suede. The inside lining is uh, the Glafton Heather Gray. The hardware is in silver nickel, so the whole thing is just in a very great tone. Um, and he choose to have it in the 25. So when we open the box to see the finished look, it's, it's very, you know, generally we think if you can choose any color you want, uh, you know, sometimes people will think then I'm gonna choose all the color, all the crazy color possible to put it in a bag. But he kind of went the opposite direction. And then when we opened the, opened the box, it was really, it's very refreshing because we've never seen any rope like that. It turned out really, really well. So it kind of kind of changed my mind a little bit. And then I usually will kind of mention it to all the customer who's interested that they can consider this option as well to just kind of go with a monochromatic uh, combination. Uh, it gives you a very timeless piece. And I think it works extremely well if you're doing the 25 because it's a more compact form. And so if it's monochromatic, it really accentuates the, the form. It's really about the silhouette of the piece. Uh, not so much about like the crazy color, but it really just uh, makes it more classic and elevated. So monochromatic is one way to decide uh, if you go that direction, I strongly recommend doing the sway as the main uh, leather on the body. Uh, the other way you can create a special design is go with what they call the analog. So you choose a little bit of, um, for example, this is a good example of the analog. So on the main body is, uh, we have the ginger in glove tan. On the side panel here are the handle. So the handle piece, the key hood, and the, the, on the zipper strap is the saddle. So these two colors are really close to one another, but you can definitely see the contrast and the difference. And this also creates a really unique color combination. Uh, the inside, this is a sample bag. So on the inside, they choose uh, oxblood as the lining. Um, but for you can definitely also choose either maybe the honey or um, let's see there. So these are the three really close. But I like how it's oxblood on the inside, so it creates more contrast. Um, these might be if you choose any of these uh, color that's closer to the the rest of the bag. I don't think it has as much of an impact. Um, there's just not enough kind of contrast point to make it unique. But I think overall, this is a very um, sophisticated choice. So you have the ginger with the saddle. If you want, you can also do a reverse, but I do think this ginger is more unique than the saddle color um, and the oxblood. It just feels really rich. Um, this one is with the crocodile handle. So the one thing is, uh, our store, our location in Canada, and also the store in California, we're not able to do exotic um, design. So if you're interested in crocodile handle or the python handle, we do have some pre-made sample. Those are also one of, one of its own. 
that you can purchase these right away but we're not able to submit an order to create that um, but any of the python or the crocodile handle basically is the same uh, for example if you choose just a plain color it will look like this sorry not this one should be the saddle color so this is the the saddle handle and glove so all the all the handle will be in glove tan finish but the bag will look like this with just a regular handle okay so the exotic definitely makes it more uh, luxurious but I think a lot of time you're holding it of course it'll feel different in your hand but you know just the plain handle also it doesn't you know take away the uniqueness of it overall um, but this is just kind of a side note okay so it can do uh, either monochromatic or analog something that's uh, a safer or more understated uh, choice of color combination or you can go really crazy just with because we have 12 different colors that you can choose from um, you can really go wild I'm just gonna show you a picture quickly this is one of um, a really good customer who is just she's very she has very this is also has to do with her personal style she just loves color like everything her hair has a lot of color her outfit um, so she's a very vibrant person and this is the uh, made to order robe that she designed um, we kind of jokingly say it kind of reminds us of uh, the Happy Meal <laughs> with the red body and the yellow handle but this is very it, this combination really highlights the, the, the all the colors in in the rogue uh, option okay so this red is very very rich um, this is what it looks like in the pebble leather and then we also have it in the glove tan and then um, I do have like for a specific color I do have some preference for how which leather finish works the best I do think that for the red the glove tan really comes through quite nicely okay um, for the yellow or the high hay, hay color uh, the purple is quite nice okay so this is kind of what we have in the sample here um, so you can do something that you can uh, take a look in person if you're not able to uh, visit a store uh, you can play with the app online uh, maybe screenshot it to get some ideas but you can also feel free to uh, DM me, contact us. We can do like a virtual walkthrough of all the options that you have narrowed down and uh, uh, come up with and then make a final decisions. Um, so as you can see from this example too, that you can also, after you receive your bag, you can also add different embellishment on it to make it even more unique. So the possibility is endless, okay? So this customer actually, beside this one, she also created another one uh, that was with uh, the cornflower. So this kind of light blue with a pink handle. And then I think the suede lining inside might have been this ox blood. So on the inside it looks like this okay and then you have the key hood also in this color so that was quite also a very uh, interesting looking bag uh, but it just suits her style so really it's it, it's this uh, made to order program is really about you what you like what your style is like uh, it really reflect each person's personality and style preferences so there's no uh, no right or wrong combination uh, you can go as crazy as you like or you can go uh, just just be you um, so I will also mention I think one of the part it gets a little bit confusing is um, 
which part you can choose different color. So one thing is that, for example, uh, the stitching we cannot change. So you can tell from the, the handle samples, uh, whatever is, um, is it possible? Yes, let me finish this one. Uh, so the stitching we're not able to change, so we, you cannot choose what stitching you want on the specific color uh, leather. Uh, someone asked, is it possible to order pebble leather with the suede on the side? So that is not possible. The suede, I think you were talking about this part, right? Uh, so for this part, the, all the, it's only available in glove tan finish, okay? So even if your main body, the only leather finish part you can choose is the body. The handle is always going to be glove tan. Uh, since we don't have the exotic option. Uh, so this you can choose glove tan, pebble, or sway. And the side here is always glove tan. So basically the handle and the side always glove tan. Uh, you can choose the different color but not the leather finish. Okay. As you can see this is the sway bag and this is what it looks like with the black glove tan finish. So for color combination, you need to determine your main body, what color, and that's it's gonna be your main color. Then you can choose what handle, what color on the handle. Uh, the color that on the handle will also determines the the color on the key hood. And the other color uh, panel you can choose is on the side, the zipper side panel here which will be the same whatever color that is will also be the color of the hang tag. A lot of people like either matching to uh, handle and body and I have a little bit of difference on the side or you can do this one is you have different handle and body but the same side with the handle. You can also have all uh, color, three different color options as well. It's also very nice. So this one actually, the body is one color, which is in the olive glove tan. Handle is in, uh, I think this is the ginger. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell with the exotic, but I think this is the ginger. But the side, they choose to use black. So this is kind of more analog uh, combination. Uh, and this is more contrast, you know, almost like green and orange. Uh, and then, but then on the inside, you can use something that's closer to the black, uh, which is the navy, because I think we don't, for lining in the sway, we don't have black option, but the closest will be black, uh, in the uh, indigo, okay? So, this is also another option. Um, so, is that... That should answer your question. Okay. So what do you guys think? Is this something that kind of what you would expect? Or if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave in the comment here. Or you can DM me afterwards. But I just wanted to quickly introduce uh, Made to Order Rogue. And I'm gonna give you a different, some inspiration because I know ever since we relaunched the Rogue for our spring collection, a lot of people have been interested in just getting another Rogue uh, and kind of considering um, the made to order option as well. Um, I know I have people asking for more spring color because it's for the season, right? So normally uh, when you submit the order, it will take six to eight weeks uh, for the bags to be made and shipped out. It will ship to the store. Uh, I, the craftsman, myself or Ben will inspect it. I'll make sure everything, the design combo is correct. Then we'll give you a call and you can come in to pick up the bag or we can ship it out to you, whichever is convenient. Um, but you know, at that point, if you're happy with the bag, uh, you can decide to put your uh, initial on the hang tag, or if you want, you can also um, 
to show on the hang tag. Or if you want, you can also add, you know, um, some embellishment on it, right? You can add your either the tea roses or the pins, so to make it even more unique. Um, so there is option is endless. So. I think that's a wrap. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the session. I hope that's informative. It's kind of different from all the other customization Instagram like I've done before because those ones I actually work on a bag in the store and you can watch it. Uh, but this one is more really about just kind of walk you through the, uh, the process, how to pick out design or color combination. Um, so I hope you find this uh, helpful and insightful. Um, let me just see if I miss anything. Just gonna take a look at my note. If you're wondering about the pricing, what I have here is the Canadian pricing. So I know some of you are in the States. Uh, you will have to, when you go online on the US website, uh, you play around with the app, it will give you the pricing for each size. Um, but for, Right now, as of today, for Rogue 25, it's uh, 940 Canadian. For uh, Rogue 30, which is a regular size Rogue, it's 1175 Canadian. Uh, for the 36, Rogue 36 is 1535. And for Rogue Brief, it's uh, $1,055 Canadian. So for Rogue Brief, you only have the glove tent or the pebble leather option. There is no suede option. Um, yeah, so that's the only difference for the, the Rogue Brief, okay? All right, if you, we don't have any more questions, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, it was nice meeting and interacting with some of you over the during the week, and I hope you we can stay connected.